Hey, ministry friends, I am um, in a different location today. If you read my intro, you know that we are in the middle of a um, construction project in our home, and I will certainly probably be sharing some of that over the course of the next several months. But I want to really apply two lessons that we have learned in our construction project to creating a culture of development within your organization. You know, there are really two keys. The first one is leadership. Leadership is key in creating a culture of development. Just like with our construction project, your CEO, president, or executive director plays a key role in setting the tone for your organization and the role the development will play. You know, they play a role not only internally, with your organization, but also externally. They are the face of the organization. It's important that they are engaging with donors, not only to share stories and updates, but also to ask for partnership, asking for gifts. That really um, sets an example for the entire organization for the priority that ministry partnership with donors has in your ministry. The second key is a coordinated effort. Just like our construction project is following a plan and a blueprint, it's important that your organization um, understands the plan, that it is a coordinated effort from the development department and they have access to the information they need. You know, they need um, elevator pitches, they need statistics, um, impact reports if you have those, and certainly stories. Train them. Show them how they can be a good, effective ambassador for your organization. You know, your board members, your staff, and your volunteers all play a key role in um, sharing the story of the work that you're doing. Creating a culture of development is not easy, but it's worth it. So I encourage you to engage your leadership, ensure they understand the importance of the work you're accomplishing and ask them to be a part of leading that effort. And secondly, ensure that you have a coordinated plan and tools to engage your board, your volunteers, and your staff in their role in development. Now stay tuned throughout the month of February. We'll be sharing on our Facebook page a variety of other insights as, as it relates to creating a culture of development. And then you'll also want to tune in in March for our webinar called Focused Possibility, Engaging Your Ministry's Story, Staff, and Supporters for Growth.